readers welcome back to my channel so excited to have you all here again today I'm doing a book haul of books that I've recently purchased and books that I'm very excited to read some of the books on this list are some of my most anticipated books of 2023 okay let's get started the first book that I'm very excited to read is The Stolen Air by Holly Black you all know how much I absolutely adored the Cruel Prince series. Love Holly Black's writing. She's one of my favorite authors. And if you've watched my previous video, you would know that the Cruel Prince series was on my top 10 list of 2022 books. So this is seven years later in the same universe. Um, and this is about Oak's story. So about one of the main characters, Jude, her brother Oak's story in the fairy world. So this is so exciting. So excited to read this and see um, if the characters capture me as much as the ones in The Cruel Prince did. The next book in my haul is Magnolia Parks. I've heard so many good things about this book. Um, it's, I think it's a romance. It's about two people in a very high society in Britain. Um, and it gives me Chuck and Blair vibes from what I'm hearing. And even though their relationship is super toxic, um, I do love me some Chuck and Blair. So I'm very excited to read this. The drama that's going to ensue in this story sounds very exciting. So that is Magnolia Parks. And the cover is beautiful. Very nice cover for that one. Very eclectic and artistic. Something I haven't seen in book covers before, um, but I love it. The next book I have here is When in Rome. I love Sarah Adams' writing. I think her stories are so charming, so fluffy, so wholesome. So I'm really looking forward to this one. This is a new book. The last book that I read by her was The Cheat Sheet. It was a sports romance. This one is set in Rome, as you can see in the title. It's about a girl who moves to Rome, inspired by her favourite Audrey Hepburn film, Roman Holiday. <laughs> I myself am an Audrey Hepburn fan, so this is going to be so cool, very exciting. I have another YA romance, this is a sports romance, Icebreaker, I've heard amazing things about this one too. So this is a hockey romance and ice hockey, and this is about Nate and Anastasia. So super excited to read this one and how their relationship develops in the story. What I have is The Do-Over by Lynn Painter. I loved Better Than The Movies by Lynn Painter and this looks like a wholesome YA romance as well so I'm looking forward to reading this one. It's about a girl called Emily and she's reliving Valentine's Day over and over and over. It sounds very interesting. I wonder what happens and why that's happening in the story so I'm excited to find out. That's the cover. Looks super cute as well finish this in a couple of days. Her writing is so good. The next book I have here, I'm looking forward to reading this one. This one is If He Had Been With Me. I've heard so many things online about this one and apparently it's heartbreaking. It's very heartfelt, very meaningful, uh, very sad. So I do love a book that can bring out a few tears in me. I do love a book that's meaningful, makes me uh, Teary brings out those emotions in me. So this one is about two people called Autumn and Finn of Friends to Lovers Romance. I'm not sure, but I'm looking forward to reading this one and finding out. The next book is a memoir. This is everything I know about, well, parties, dates, friends, jobs, life, and love. Everything else is crossed out except for love. This is by Dolly Alderton. Um, it is great to know other people's perspectives on life as well. So I'm very excited to read her perspectives and her life in her 20s. Maybe things in here that I could relate to, things that I could get um, wisdom from, things that I could learn from, and to get other people's perspectives and how they live their lives and their outlook and how they've changed and perspectives have changed. So I'm very excited to learn um, more about this one and to see her outlook on life and her experiences. So that is everything I know about love. I have another memoir here. This is Spare by Prince Harry. I'm looking forward to um, reading about his perspective, his life growing up in the royal family. And I think he deserves to have a voice and he deserves to tell his story. So i um, very excited for this one too. Harry and Meghan are a stunning couple 
and Harry reminds me so much of his mum. Seems like such a warm, genuine person, so I'm very excited to read things from his perspective. Hey, one that I have here is one that I'm currently reading. Thank you for listening. This is by Julia Whelan about Suwani Chester. She is uh, an audiobook narrator and it's about her life. So from what I've read so far, I'm absolutely loving it. It's hard to put down. Such a good read, such great writing. Can't wait to tell you my thoughts about the book in my next video. Next one I have here is Healing Through Words by Rupi Kaur. This is actually a journal and it's a beautiful hardcover. Um, this one is about delving deeper and knowing yourself, asking questions about yourself and being honest with yourself. So I think it's a great way to get to know yourself better, to delve deeper into your own soul. So this one's very healing. I think it is a great perspective on your own life, your experiences, and putting it on paper just makes it a whole lot better. So this is something I'm looking forward to writing in. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today. I've had so much fun sharing my book haul with you and I'm excited to share with you much more book content in the coming future. So subscribe, like, comment. I would love to know the books that you've recently purchased and what your thoughts on those books have been. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.